Hello everyone, today I will give you a tutorial to demonstrate how to modify the pose assets related to metal human pose driver and then repair the body deformation. After using MetaBL Rigger to bind and import the engine, there may be some problems with the body shape modification. The tutorial here is demonstrate how to modify the effect body shape alteration. In the video, the left shoulder of the character is the repair effect. Let's enter the tutorial below. First, we create a new folder and name it Test Skin Animation. Then we import the animation resources prepared in advance for the test bindings. This animation resource was downloaded by me on the Mixamo animation website. First we import rig. So we cancel the import animation here. Import the animation after importing the binding. Pay attention to select the skeleton we just imported. Then check import animation here. The remaining settings do not need to be modified. Click import. After importing the animation, we redirect the animation once. We redirect the animation to a character we had previously bound to. Select the animation that needs to be redirected. Then click Export Animations. Click Export. This way our animation redirection is done. Let's rename it. Add a name for our role in front of it. We can browse here. Animation effect after redirection. We can see that the shoulders on both sides are a little shrugged. This shrug problem is the next problem we need to solve. We open the animation post processing blueprint. Then select the pose driver of upper arm underscore L. Because this pose driver is related to our shoulders. We can see the setting option on the details page. You can find a post asset related to it. Post asset is the generated with the animation resource of the same name as it. We can see this animation resource. It's a little shrugging in itself. So next we just need to modify this animation asset. We redirect this animation asset once. Source Skeletal Mesh, we choose a Skeletal Mesh from MetaHuman.
Then target source skeletal mesh we choose the skeletal mesh that binds the roll. Then select the animation resource UPRML animation. Then click export animations. We export this animation to the custom pose folder. After the export is completed, we can check the animation resources. We can see its shoulders or shrugging. It means that even if the animation is reacted, it still shrugs. So we need to export the animation to the external DCC tool and then modify it. You can take a look here. FBX export options. There are no special settings here. Just export. Open Blender. Then import the FBX we just exported. We set the frame rate to 30. Then click Import FBX. Select the FBX we just exported. Here the offset is set to 0. Then click Import. This way, the animation just now is exported. Let's set start to zero. And is set to the last frame of our animation. Since 11 frames until frames of the day. So we just set it to 11 frames. OK, next we will demonstrate how to modify this animation in Blender. For example, here we found that the shoulders are a little trapped. Then we go back to the engine. See which bones should be repaired. Let's click on Upper ML This Pose Driver. In the Details panel we can see. Use the rotation of the Upper ML bone to drive it. Only drive bones. So we can only modify the bones of only drive bones. Here we click one. Then press the keyboard to browse to the bone we just selected. We choose the upper ML bone. Enter pose mode. Let's first set our 3D cursor to the correct root elbow position. Shift S, cursor to select it. Then set the center of our operation to 3D cursor. At this time, we select upper, arm, L, out, L, this bone, press S and zoom to modify our shrugging problem. After modification, we will perform K-frames on scale and location. Similarly, we modify the fourth frame. Use a similar method. Can. Problem of shuttling. Shrink a little. After the finish, we press I. Correct scale and location. Similarly, we do some other frames. Simphys. You can check it out here. These four bones. You can try the translation, rotation, and zoom modifications. 
I've just demonstrated a relatively simple method here. After the fix is completed, we will re-export this animation. Let's name it with a suffix v2. Then export. After exporting, re-import the animation you just modified into the engine. Let's copy one. Then rename it to v2. Then right click. Let's take a look here. This animation effect. This the original animation effect. We haven't imported our modified animation yet. We right click to select return with new source. Then select the FBX we just exported. In this way, its animation becomes the animation we just fixed. After we get this animation, the next step is to generate pose assets for it. Let's find the original pose asset. Let's select it first. Then we need to leave the pose name in this pose asset. I've written a Python script in advance. It can help us print all pose names in the pose asset in the console log. We copy the file address. Then enter py in the cmd window. Then paste the file address. Enter enter. Then we can see our pose name in the console. We select Ctrl C. Then find our animation resources just now. Right click to select Create. Create Pose Asset. Then paste our Pose name here. Select it. This way we regenerate our Post Assets. We select this Post Asset and save it. Select. Back to our late animation blueprint. Select upper arm lip post driver. Set up our pose asset. Then click compile. At this time, let's go and see our upper arm at 55. This pose has changed. At this time, we can compare it with our right shoulder. Our right shoulder has not been modified. We chose upper ML. We will struggle when we see it. Upper ML has been modified. It looks flat on the left side. I'm just demonstrating the modification method here. This modified shape does not necessarily conform to the biological laws of the human body. At this time, we open a scene before. Let's create a new level sequence to check the effect of our binding test animation.
we drag an official make human character into the scene. Used to compare the binding effect of custom roles. We will use two characters to blueprint. Drag into level sequence. Remove a meta human control recomponent. Then add body animation. This way our body animation is loaded. We can see that the shoulder on the left side of our character is flat. The right shoulder is hunched. Akin. Add body animations to official characters. Similar to the previous one, we redirect skin test animation. The generated animation. Do a rename. Add in front. The name of our official role. Then save. Back to level sequence. Add the animation we just redirected. Adjust our FOV to 20. More convenient for observation and comparison. Here we can see the obvious difference between modifying pose and not modifying pose. For example, the right shoulder is something we haven't modified. It looks obviously problematic when it deforms. After modification, some improvement will be obtained. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.